Hey guys, it's like 4.50 a.m. in the morning, f- almost 5 a.m. I'm awake, um, I couldn't really sleep, so I decided to make a video. Um, I, w- I decided, hey, I'll show you this cool terminal emulator I found, it's called Tabby. Uh, you might know about it, but I just thought I'd make a video about it. Basically... This is the emulator, um, <clears throat> and one thing you might notice off the bat is it saves your session. So if I like leave the terminal emulator and re uh, re-enter, it actually saves where I am, which is pretty cool. And <clears throat> it's a uh, like a normal tabbed uh, terminal emulator. One thing that is cool is if you go into ter- into a directory and open new tabs it automatically goes to that directory which is kinda cool um, but uh, that's not even the coolest part about this terminal emulator it's not just your typical tabbed terminal emulator no 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 if you go to the settings panel here you have all kinds of stuff um, not quite sure what this terminal emulator is written in, but um, I guess probably um, either Rust, JavaScript, something like that. Um, I know those are two completely different languages, but just based on this UI alone, that's what I'm getting. Um, so here in application, you have check for updates, you have you can ask a question, report a problem, GitHub, what's new, subscribe to updates, language, automatic, enable analytics, um, yeah, sure. Uh, automatic updates, awesome. And um, you can also enable and disable animations down here. Now in appearance, we have the font, enable font ligatures. I, yeah, this is basically where, like, if you have um, a dash and then a, a greater than sign, it will turn it into an arrow. Or, like, if you have exclamation equals, it turns it into an equal sign with a slash through it. Um, so that's font ligatures. Um, ligatures, which... that uh, Or ligatures, which that's pretty cool. Um, uh, there's a text editor I have installed on here called Laps, or Lapsy as I like to call it, which has the same thing. Uh, I might make a video on that too, who knows. But, um, I personally don't care for them. Now, the terminal background, you can choose f- font theme or from color scheme. And then you can change the cursor shape, you can make the cursor blink or not. There's um a lot you can change in here, honestly. There's more. Um, but like um you can There's a there's a spot where you can change the terminal theme. Okay, so in profiles and connections, you have this um not too sure what this is. I don't like assuming stuff, so well, I don't like assuming and then just saying, oh yeah, it's this. So I'm going to skip that. But okay, terminal. Um, the front end. This is like where stuff gets a little nerdy. But if you watch this channel, you're probably a nerd anyways. So um, you can change the front end. So like uh, WebGL or Canvas. So yeah, this is probably using something like JavaScript or Electron which Electron uses JavaScript, so, um, you can, you, you can change the number of lines in your history from what I'm getting here. Um, you can, you, you can make it so, um, bold colors are brighter. Um, Sixel, Sixel graphic support, experimental, I don't know what that is. Uh, you can, 
you can um say use alt as the meta key which is interesting um scroll on input oh yeah this is like um if you if you um let me just ls a bunch of times if you scroll up and as soon as you start typing in something it scrolls back at the bottom um that's what that is um and then well you really just have all this generic stuff and then here in color scheme this is where um you can change some really cool things um well the color scheme uh so what color scheme am i using right now this one okay um i don't really want to change my color scheme here cuz i'm happy with it but you have all these options uh it's a lot um I, I recommend playing around with it. Uh, you have a config sync. Um, I'm not too sure how this works, but it is self-explanatory on what it is. You got your hotkeys. You can change hotkeys in here, which is really cool. I don't know many terminals that can do that, at least not in an easy way. You have plugins. Um, it, these are plugins for a terminal emulator, and they're available right here. Uh, SSH. You have Vault, Window. Um, this this is also cool. So um, this is where like you can change the style of the window, kind of. Um. Uh, okay, that's terrible. But okay, so standard compact. That's cool. Um, I personally like standard. Um, acrylic background is cool too, cause it actually makes the background transparent, which I like. The only problem is that the actual terminal isn't transparent, which is a little weird. But, um, you know, some people like that. Different strokes for different folks. Window frame, native. You can use the native frame. You can use a custom frame, which you do have to restart the app to have changes take effect. But yeah, you have native frames. Uh, you have your frame options there. Dock the terminal. Um... This is weird. It's like um, you can have the terminal snap to a side of your screen. Um, I personally don't like it, but okay. Tab locations. This is like where you can change um, where your tabs are. Uh, it's self-explanatory but still a neat little feature to have. Tabs width, dynamic, or fixed. That basically, like if you have um, a bunch of tabs open, it will squash the tabs or scroll them, depending on what you choose. Um, show tabs in full screen mode. Um, that, um, I'm assuming, I, I, the keyword here is assuming that if you like um, put this into full screen mode that it will okay maybe not um, that it will get rid of tabs which it does not hide tab index no idea what that does if I hover over does it tell me no it doesn't show profile icon on tab Um, nothing's happening. Um, hide tab options button. Um, I, I guess it just hides this, um, which I don't want. 
hide tab close button you definitely don't want to do that because then you can't really close the tab I mean you can by typing exit but you know um, I don't know what this does disable GPU this is under hacks disable GPU acceleration tick this if you're experiencing anti-aliasing ghosting or other visual issues so that's kind of nice to have so like um, you could run this in VirtualBox for example I don't know why you'd want to but okay um, this is the config file which this is really cool cuz um like you configure this via the GUI but you are actually able to configure it here too and see what um, your configuration looks like which is really cool um, so yeah I'm also gonna click uh, this restart app to apply just so it goes away oh yeah and um, you can tweak some settings to make it so the application does not close when you close the last tab which I turn that off as you can see well it's off by default so when you close the last tab the terminal closes but you can change that um, so yeah overall this is um, a really cool terminal emulator I don't know if there's much to show um, like there is a scroll bar here in case you guys are curious uh, there's a scroll bar it's very very simple scroll bar which is nice but um I really um, don't know what else to show I mean it's a very feature rich terminal emulator but all the the features are very easy to explain and to show they're all very self-explanatory which is very nice I mean some of them are not but it's just stuff that is sort of nerdy and not the average person is supposed to understand um, overall this is a really nice terminal emulator would I use it um, uh, I mean the thing is I like alacrity too much so if alacrity for some reason died would I consider using it yeah um, would I look into other options? Absolutely. I would look into stuff like Tilex, for example. Um, which, shout out to the Linux cast. I saw one of his videos. It's one of his recent videos as of now. I saw it on Odysseys about him using Tilex on XFCE. So, Matt, if you're watching this, hello. I love your content, and I hope you keep making great content in the future. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I, I'm really struggling to say anything else about Tabby. It's just a well-rounded terminal emulator. So, uh, without further ado, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I woke up to a very pleasant surprise well woke up as in I slept for an hour before making this YouTube video I, I really have weird sleeping patterns don't judge but um yeah subscribe I got on my computer noticed us at 77 subscribers thank you uh, for that um, let's see if I can hit um, 100 by the end of this month um, but yeah, that will be all for me for today. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, follow me on Odyssey, leave a comment, uh, to boost my video in the YouTube algorithm and to just tell me what you thought of this video. I'd love to know your opinions. Um, uh, what else? Am I forgetting something? Uh, said follow me on Odyssey already. I said the YouTube stuff. <laughs> um, uh, without further ado, I will see you guys next time. And make sure to share the video. That's what it was. I wonder if this will ever appear in r slash Unix porn.